So in this video, I'm going to go over what needs to happen for every single team to potentially make the playoffs. Of course, I'm leaving off the teams that can't make the playoffs. This was tweeted out this morning from Adam Schefter, and I saw it this morning and thought I will make a video on it. So I'm going to go through AFC and NFC, all the teams that have clinched the playoffs, and then what needs to happen for different potential scenarios for like seeding, home field advantage, and that kind of thing. And this is all from a tweet put out by Adam Schefter. So I want to start off in the AFC. So right here, as you can see, currently five of the seven teams who will make the playoffs in the AFC have already clinched. We have first off the Cincinnati Bengals, who already have the AFC North Division title, the Chiefs, who already have the AFC West Division title, the Titans, who have the AFC South Division title, then the Buffalo Bills have a playoff berth, as well as the New England Patriots also have a playoff berth. So first off, for the Baltimore Ravens facing off on Sunday versus the Steelers, for Baltimore to clinch a playoff berth, first off, they have to win. The Los Angeles Chargers have to lose. The Colts have to lose and Miami has to lose or have a tie. So the uh, the odds are a little bit stacked against the Ravens currently, but they still have a chance. Now moving on to the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills clinch the AFC East Division title with a win. So if, they're win if they win, they get the AFC East Division, AFC East Division title. Um, a New England loss or a Buffalo tie plus a New England tie. Now for the Bengals. So Cincinnati clinches the AFC's number one seed. The only first round by and home field advantage with a win plus a Titans loss, a Chiefs loss, and a Patriots loss or tie. And then the second scenario, a Cincinnati win, Tennessee loss, Kansas City loss, plus Buffalo win. So there's a, you know, a lot of things that need to happen for the Bengals to get the number one seed, but it's still possible. Then we have for the Colts, Indianapolis clinches a playoff berth with a win. So basically win or tie and they're in. Um, number two option, Los Angeles Chargers loss plus a Baltimore slash Pittsburgh tie or a Los Angeles Chargers loss, a Pittsburgh loss plus a Miami win. Now moving on to the Kansas City Chiefs currently sitting at 11 and five facing off against Denver um, coming, on the, coming up on Saturday. So Kansas City clinches the AFC's number one seed only first round by and home field advantage with a win plus a Tennessee loss or tie or a Kansas City tie plus a Tennessee loss. So the Chiefs are also still in the running for that number one seed. Now for the Raiders, 9-7 and seven facing off against the Chargers. Las Vegas clinches playoff berth with Las Vegas win or Las Vegas tie plus Colts loss or Colts loss plus Pittsburgh loss or tie. Now for the Chargers. So it says the Los Angeles Rams. I think they mean Chargers. I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, so Los Angeles Chargers clinch playoff berth with a one Los Angeles Chargers win or tie. So win in there in it seems for the Chargers uh, because I think that is a typo there. Then for the Patriots, 10 and six. So New England clinches AFC's number one seed, only first round by and home field advantage with a New England win, plus a Buffalo loss or tie, plus a Kansas City loss, plus a Titans loss. So lots has to happen for the Patriots to get the number one seed, but it is still possible. And then New England clinches AFC East division title with New England win plus Buffalo loss or tie. Um, or New England tie plus Buffalo loss. So that one seems at least a little bit more, um, you know, in their favor of that happening. Now for the Steelers who just won. So at Baltimore this next week, Pittsburgh clinches playoff berth with Pittsburgh win, Colts loss, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Char uh, Los Angeles Chargers game does not end in a tie. And then for the final of the NFC or the AFC, I mean, then moving on to the NFC, we have the Titans. So the, the Titans clinch AFC's number one seed, only first round by, and home field advantage with a Tennessee win, so win, and they have that number one seed, or a Tennessee tie plus Kansas City loss or tie, or a Kansas City loss plus Cincinnati, Cincinnati loss or tie plus New England loss or tie, or Kansas City loss plus Cincinnati loss or tie plus Buffalo win. There's so many different factors here. It's crazy. All right, now to the NFC. This list is a lot shorter. So currently right now in the NFC, six of the seven NFC teams have already clinched a playoff spot. First off, the Green Bay Packers, already have the NFC North Division title, the number one seed, the only first round bye and home field advantage. Then moving on, the Cowboys already have the NFC East Division title. The Buccaneers have the NFC South Division title. The Cardinals, Rams, and Eagles all have a playoff berth, but it will just, this next week, will determine the seeding for all these teams. So for the Cardinals, Arizona clinches an NFC West Division title with Arizona win plus Los Angeles Rams loss. And then for the Rams, the Los Angeles Rams clinch the NFC West division title with a Los Angeles Rams win or tie or an Arizona loss or tie. The Saints also still have a chance of making the playoffs. For that to happen for them, New Orleans clinches playoff berth with New Orleans win plus 49ers loss. And then finishing it off here, we have the San Francisco 49ers. They clinch a playoff berth either with a win or tie. So if they win, they are in 
or a new uh, New Orleans Saints loss or tie. So those are all the different scenarios for all teams in the NFL to potentially clinch a playoff spot. And if you guys are new here, I put out NFL content, Packers content mainly because I am a Packers fan. And if you want to see more of that, feel free to subscribe. I'll plan on putting out lots of more content for the playoffs, probably some predictions, other things like that on this channel. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.